everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I thought I would take you along with me as I decorate our dining room, our dining table for spring. I'm also going to be showing you an easy, no-bake dessert that would be perfect for spring and Easter. So what really inspired this whole tablescape and decor in my dining room this year was this vintage glassware. It's pink depression glass. I found at my local antique store, Antique Star is called Useful Things in Parkland County. And then I also found these gorgeous just faux florals at Walmart. So very inexpensive pieces that I'm going to use to make our spring tablescape this year. The nice thing is that we are having a family dinner as I set this up a couple days later. We are going to celebrate my parents a little bit. We're going to get together. So I'm excited to create this early spring tablescape for that. This would also make a beautiful Easter tablescape. I absolutely love this eucalyptus garland. It's a faux eucalyptus garland, found it on Etsy a couple years ago. I will link to some options down in the description box below. I think eucalyptus is so wonderful because you can use it for so many seasons, Christmas, fall, Easter. And what I like to do is beef it up a little bit by adding in some other faux greenery. So I'm adding in some things that I found at Walmart as well. So kind of some faux baby's breath, a little bit of heathered looking lambs ear and then you might remember these DIY crepe paper peonies that I made last week with my Cricut maker. I'm putting them into the center arrangement as well and I love these warm and creamy shades of pink and coral. I also cut out this little shape with my Cricut maker as well and I'm just rolling it around in my fingers to create tiny little flowers. They almost look like snapdragons or maybe sweet peas. I'm putting them in this garland I'm creating too so that this pink is woven throughout the centerpiece. These candlesticks here are from Ikea. I'm adding them into the centerpiece as well and I like how the white contrasts with all the pink. These succulents are from Dollar Tree last year. I'm pretty sure they have some this year as well, and I'm popping them into the arrangement. I realized I didn't have any napkins that I loved, and so I had this gray and white striped linen, cut it into 18 by 18 inch squares, and then I'm taking my serger and I'm going around and searching the edges of the napkins. So I'm not using the cutting tool on my serger, I'm just using my serger without it so that the edges fold underneath the napkin nicely. So once I searched all the way around my napkins, they're so simple and ready to go. I don't like tablescapes that feel really stuffy and crisp. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna, instead of folding these napkins, I'm going to tie them in a knot just for something a little more whimsical, a little more casual looking. So essentially I'm just gathering the whole DIY napkin up and tying it in an overhand knot. I like how casual and pretty this looks, a little bit romantic, plus we have this preppy, fresh look of the striped linen. All right, let me show you the dessert that I'm making for my tablescape, my spring dinner as well. So all you need to do for this one is take two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese, whip them in a stand mixer, and then add one can of sweetened condensed milk. This is a very rich dessert. You could use the light version of both of these if you want it to be a little less calories, totally up to you. So once the condensed milk and the cream cheese are whipped nicely together, you can add in any flavorings that you want for this no-bake cream cheese dessert. So I'm adding probably about three tablespoons of lemon juice to make a fresh lemony dessert. And I was inspired by the yellows that I found in those flowers to make something lemony for a dessert. All right, then next you take some graham cap cracker crumbs and I'm putting about a tablespoon of those in the bottom of each of these vintage trifle or ice cream cups. So after you put the tablespoon of graham cracker crumbs, you can put one to two tablespoons of that cream cheese mixture that you created. And you can make the layers nice and even or make them a little bit more wavy and interesting like I'm doing here. Then you add one more layer of graham cracker crumbs, so one to two tablespoons of that, and then a final layer of the cream cheese and sweetened condensed milk. So you could make any flavors that you wanted. I made mine lemon. You could do berry flavor, strawberry, keep it plain, add a bit of vanilla, some cocoa powder. There's lots of options for this one. Then I'm just popping those in the fridge for a few hours. 
Now I'm taking my side table and I wanted just to add some very simple elements to it because the table is quite colorful. It's gonna be a little dramatic. So I took those Walmart faux flowers, put them on either side of my clock. I found this clock at the brick and then I took some Dollar Tree votive holders and put some candles in there. Now back to the table, I'm using some Ikea rattan chargers. Love these things. I think Ikea still has them. They're so nice for spring. And then my Walmart plate set. I have a big plate and a small plate. Those vintage glass depression plates that I found at the antique store. And then adding my really casual knotted DIY napkin to that as well. Next comes the pink depression glass tumblers. I like how those add a really subtle touch, little salt and pepper shaker, and then just some simple silver cutlery. I love this setting because it is fresh, it is pretty, and you could use it for lots of different occasions in the spring. So back to this dessert, after you take it out of the fridge, it needs to chill for a couple hours, you can top it with whatever you want. So I'm using some coconut flakes, some lemon slices, and then some mini eggs to make it cute and sweet for spring. I'll make sure to leave the written recipe for this down in the description box below if you want to print that out or save it or pin it for later. These turned out so cute to look at, plus they were absolutely delicious. One of my daughters is a huge fan of lemon, so she really liked the lemon flavor of these. Plus, look how cute they look at the table. You could set your table with a little dessert like this, and it almost acts like a little favor or a little decoration for each table setting. So here is how my spring tablescape turned out. I'm really loving the pops of yellow, those soft, warm coral pinks. I wasn't too sure how this was going to look with my really bold rug that I put in here last fall, but I was pleasantly surprised with how everything tied in together. The warm coral pinks tie into that orange and that deeper purple and pink in the rug. And then all of the greenery makes everything look fresh and pretty for spring. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I decorate our dining room and create a pretty little dessert for spring and Easter. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm going to leave some more videos that I hope you guys will enjoy up in the top left hand corner to watch next.